Hello, my name is Kaius Meskanen. I'm CEO of Choicely. Today, I'm going to show you how I build mobile apps. But first, what is a mobile app? It's an application your customers can download from App Store and Google Play for iPhones and Android devices. And there are many, many ways to build apps. I use a mix of laptop, tablet and phone to create and manage my apps. So basically, I have all the parts of the app in front of me. I can play around with them. I can add something and I can remove something and just make something unique. That helps me to iterate faster in the moment or just test something new. So I'm going to show you so you can see it with your own eyes. I'm using Choicely Studio App Builder. To control my app live, I have six different builders, push message tool and app team access control. I can create content feeds and I can embed web-based services as web views inside the app. And I set each button to open one main section of the app. For example, I have the main news feed here, the team feed, game day activations, tournament statistics, and the merchandise store. I can edit them or rearrange them simply by drag and drop. I just created a new mobile app. So that's the main idea behind that. I'll also add a side menu with secondary sections of the app. I'll add login and six buttons. The women's team, the men's team, live section, Coops TV, contact us and the survey. As I produce every section of my apps with Choice Studio App Builder, it's kind of obvious to me I include web-based features and content from social media. It's easy for me to control everything here in the app simulator as I can see how things work in real time. Features like I can add the ticket shop to the top right corner like this by copy pasting the web address here and now it works. And I'll add the merchandise shop here as well. Done. And I catch some content from Twitter, TikTok or Instagram and I improvise. Sometimes I just catch the most interesting content and add them here. And yeah, do something cool. My next builder is Article Builder. It's my modular content production tool basically. Each article can be published on one or multiple content feeds. This is an easy way to segment content into a set of categories that can be followed by users. For example, do certain kind of content here and publish that content on a news feed. Then some content around a specific player X and publish that in the player X feed and enable users to follow that player. Now the users can already personalize the app content they want to see. I can create any look and feel I want for my content. All the blocks are modular, so I can set up any look, for example, for this text block. Add images, block stacks, buttons, reaction blocks and content from other platforms. For example, I'll add a video here from YouTube just by copy-pasting the web URL to the video block and now it works. I can also add content from other video platforms social media platforms like Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Spotify and so on to make the app content rich and interactive. After I've created a cool look and feel, I'll save this article as a template so I have all the presets ready for the future content. I can create powerful customer activations using the contest builder. I'll create a man of the match vote by adding the photos and names of the players and add it now to the game day section. I'll send a push message to my app users to get them engaged right now. And I mean right this second. It's also fun to make some other cool contests and polls here. Make it fun for the fans. You can build high quality apps with Choicely and develop or integrate any custom features you like. No limits. So this was the short overview of my app builder setup. And if you want to dive deeper and see what I'm doing, go to choicely.com. There, I will explain everything step by step in the upcoming guide series, and you can have a look around how to build cool apps with Choicely. Thank you everyone for watching, and see you soon on choicely.com.